What's going on guys? Today I want to tell you about this really cool pan tilt in zoom camera, which is going to be really great for conference rooms, for banquet halls, for churches. Now the company sent me this over to check out. So let's go ahead and take a look. As far as what comes in the box, of course, we're going to get the camera here itself. And it does have a nice protective cover over the lens part. That's really great if you're traveling with this or you're just not using it you can protect that lens, which is awesome. We have our user's manual here. We have some hardware here to use with the included wall mount. So if you wanted to mount this somewhere, say maybe in a banquet hall in a church, you can easily go ahead and do that. We have a very long HDMI cable. We have our remote, we have a USB cable, and this is USB A to USB C. It's USB C into the device. USB-A into your PC or laptop, and then we have our power adapter. As we take a closer look at the camera itself, as you can see, it's much larger than your normal like webcam. That is because we have a lot of functionality built into this. And of course, because the camera itself does sit in this mount that allows it to easily, you know, tilt and pan. Um, which way I will, you know, go ahead and show you. Now on the bottom, there is a normal threaded mount right there. So you can easily just put this on a tripod if you wanted to. If you're gonna set it on something, it does have that rubber ring. So when you set it down, it's not moving anywhere. It's very sturdy when you go ahead and put it, you know, somewhere. And of course you can use the included mount as well and you can mount it to the wall. You can do all that kind of stuff. Now, as far as our connections go right here on the back, um, we do have ethernet, which is gonna be used for control. We have HDMI as well as USB-C. You can connect this via HDMI. So use it, you know, to connect to your TV, connect to a projector. You can connect it to a large screen, very easy to do. And then we have USB. So you can easily connect this to your PC as well. And one thing that's really nice about that USB-C connection is right above it, you'll see a little hole. The actual cable that comes with this has a little screw, so you can go ahead and screw that in so you don't accidentally you know, disconnect this, which is great. And then we have our RS connection. So we have an RS-485 and an RS-232. Those are used for really high-end controllers. So if you do have this somewhere like a conference room, a banquet hall, a concert venue, something like that, you know, the, this will allow this to connect to a really high-end AV controller so you can have full control of this um, professionally, which is awesome. And then of course we have our power connection right there on the end. Now, if you're wondering about the HDMI and USB, they're gonna give you a max of 1080p 60 out. You can of course do 1080p 30 as well. Getting the camera set up and ready to go is really easy. So I have it here on top of my computer and I have power going in and of course USB going right into my PC. I hit power right here on the remote. So I'll go ahead and hit, hit power. And it does a little bit of calibration here right at the beginning. But it takes about 30 seconds and it's fully all ready to go. And then you're ready to record. You're ready to do a live stream. Very easy to set up. Now I have the camera app open here in Windows 11. This camera is automatically detected by Windows. You don't need to install anything. It just shows up under your camera devices. And as you can see, I'm here, there's no lag or anything like that. Now within the camera app, we can go do, you know, see our different modes or what we have available. So under photos, we can do 2.1 megapixel photos at 1920 by 1080. There are a bunch of other options there as well. Under the video settings, we can do 1080p at 60 frames or 30 frames or 720p at 60 frames or 30 frames. And then there's a bunch of other ones, uh, lower resolutions as well. But for most people who are doing live streams, streaming, things like that, or even recording, you're gonna wanna stick with 1080p 30 or 1080p 60. So those are the settings. And we have the remote here that allows you to do quite a lot of different things. Most importantly, this is a pan, tilt, or zoom camera. So we can pan one way, pan the other way, very easy to go ahead and do that. Um, we can tilt down and we can tilt back up, very easy to do that as well. And you can change the actual speed here as well. So this says PTZ speed, so you can make it faster, you can make it slower, so you can kind of control that speed how you like. There's also zooming as well, so there's a slow zoom and there's a fast zoom, so we can zoom in slowly 
So that's the slow zoom. And we can do fast zoom, which is a lot faster. So that's the fast zoom, but you can zoom in. This has 20 times zoom. I don't know if you guys want to see me zoom in on my face, but this has 20 times zoom and look at the quality there. I mean, it is really good quality that you can zoom all the way in like that. Um, let me get something to show you guys. So, you know, you can really zoom in nice and tight on things, which is great. We'll zoom out one more time. Um, so pan tilt zoom, which is really great about this camera. Um, you can also adjust the brightness. You can mirror mode, image mode. There's also a full menu here that you can bring up and you can change exposure control, color, image, pan, tilt, and zoom settings, communication settings, information, restore defaults, which is really great in case you mess something up in the settings and you don't know where it was. You can always restore the defaults and you can change the language, uh, which is really great there as well. But as far as controls, this is really easy to control with the included remote. Another thing that I wanted to show you is using this via HDMI. So I have this, as you can see, it's right next to my TV. I have the HDMI cable going out and going into my TV. And as you can see, here I am. There's no input lag or anything like that, which is really great. Um, another good thing about this is we have all of our same functionality as well. So we can move around, you know, we can go up, we can go down. We can, of course, zoom in. Very easy to do. It is a little dark in here, but very easy to go ahead and do that, which is great. Now, another thing that I didn't show you as well is that when we go into our menu here, we can go into the exposure and we can fully set everything. So it's on auto by default, but we can fully make this a manual camera as well. So if you have a setting that, you know, you're setting this up in a, a banquet hall or whatever it may be, you have the set lighting, you can fully tune this camera in for the best settings that you want, which is really great. But of course you can put it back on auto there as well, which is awesome. But I really liked this camera. It's super easy to use, not only via HDMI, but also, you know, on my PC. But on top of that, for people who are using this, maybe, like I said, in a banquet hall, in a church, you know, you can use this either way to connect to really high-end devices, really high-end controllers, which is awesome with the connections on the back. But again, having the HDMI out is great too because you can put this into an HDMI splitter. You can put this into an HDMI controller. It's really easy to use, which is great. And again, you have all the functionality of the pan, the tilt, the zoom. 20X zoom is really good too, especially again, I keep on coming back to churches, but you know, during the sermon, you may want to zoom in and then you may want to zoom back out when the singing starts and things like that. So it's really great to have that. And again, like I said, you can connect this to the high-end controllers, which is great as well. So if you are looking for a pan, tilt, and zoom camera, not only for personal use, but like, again, for banquet halls, for churches, for things like that, this is one that I would definitely recommend.